Good evening and welcome to the leather journey. Uh, tonight we're going to start a series about leather because obviously the leather journey should include uh, different aspects of leather, uh, the leather community, the leather lifestyle, and why we love leather so much. So, you know, it'll be like all the other playlists on the channel. There'll be a, a playlist about leather and different aspects of it and you can pick and choose what you'd like to watch. But uh, some leather is bought, uh, some leather is presented. I'm not gonna say that all leather should be presented or all leather should be bought. There are different circumstances that surround the acquisition of leather. Uh, but I thought tonight to start the series off, I would wear my leathers, uh, leather boots, this, this particular pair of boots uh, were made by Nakona. I personally wear Nakonas because uh, I have a narrow foot and they come in a C width, so I can get a nice leather boot that, that fits my last. Uh, these, the leather pants I'm wearing were made by Savage. Savage was in the East Coast scene for many years and um, moved to Germany to be with uh, his spouse. Uh, and we'll, we'll go into more detail about each of the pieces of leather that I'm wearing. This leather vest was made by Second Skin Leather out of Dallas, and it has uh, a mermaid patch on the back. For six years, I was the head of House Mermaid. And um, we'll do a, uh, a couple of videos about House Mermaid. Not only the, the physical house mermaid that existed that I led for six years, but also the, the uh, revitalization of house mermaid through this channel and what we have planned for house members. Um, we're gonna probably get together online two or three times a year in Zoom, but we're gonna plan to uh, hold some events and try to get to uh, couple of the big conventions that are around the country. I'm thinking of Southeast Leather Fest and maybe one that's e either around St. Louis or farther west. But I'll look for some input from channel members on that. And then um, I have a leather belt and uh, I picked up this, this BDSM belt buckle uh, at a local dungeon in the Orlando area. And then the mirror cap was presented to me just recently. Uh, at a leather circle up in the Northeast from uh, the community that I've been involved with for a, about 16 of the last 23 years that I've been in leather, a uh, long time. So that, that community knew me well and uh, it, was, it was a very touching ceremony and I appreciate Snowflake for leading it and for everyone that stood in the leather circle uh, and presented me uh, with the mirror cap. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching The Leather Journey and, and our exploration into uh, leather. Not only the path that I've taken, but the path that hopefully you will find. Everybody's journey in leather is unique and different. Yours will be, it won't be exactly like mine, but as you talk to different people in the community, everybody's leather journey has been a little bit different we all learn to love leather for different reasons. Um, and I'll, I'll go into some of the personal stories and some of the personal reasons uh, about why I like leather so much. But as always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.